This is the frugal gardener. And as you can see, I'm back in the garden. This was phase one or installment one of the H2O Garden Oasis project. And today we're gonna to focus on this side of my raised uh, garden bed. I have five new water saving tips and um, ways to protect your plants from the summer heat coming up. This is the uh, area I'm going to be focusing on today. I have reached back into my bin of goodies and these are the items that we are going to be using. Uh, I've been focusing on underground and on top of the soil today we're going to continue with that theme but we're also going to go over the soil so under on top and over so here's a shot of it it's not very big they come in various sizes this is a small one it's uh, I guess maybe about 12 inches high. Fill it, goes in the ground. I basically uh, have dug the hole for it. I'm going to finish up the hole, drop it inside. That's all there's to it. So that's taken care of. That's done. Basically, I'll just add uh, soil and basically some mulch. Add, and I'll fill it water. And that's it. So that's project one out of the way. And now I can focus my attention on tip number two. What we're going to do today. We're going to add vermiculite. This is multi-purpose, but I mean, it has a lot of different uses in your garden. It erases the soil and so forth. But uh, for the purpose of this video, for the purpose of this series, I'm going to use this to lighten up the soil. Uh, basically, this holds water this will help retain the moisture in your soil and it will release it gradually um, this is basically a mineral that comes from rock you can read up on it later i'll do another video on this but right now um, it's not so much about planting this is so much about water retention this is about saving your garden in the heat this is about saving your plants in the heat and this is going to help that process so i'm going to add this to the soil and then we'll move on to tip number three. Okay, so this is the vermiculite. This is how it looks. It's very light. You can see it's actually blowing away in the wind. This whole bag is probably, I don't know, maybe two pounds. So um, once you add this to the soil, it actually uh, tells you, let me see if I can back this up so that you can see this, but basically um, it tells you that it retains the central moistures. So that's what we're using this for today. I'm going to add some of this to the garden and just work it into the soil. And by the way, basically all that's in this soil his uh, coffee grounds, eggshells. Um, I added um, wood ash and uh, also added um, biochar. 
uh, they're not the same. So pretty much everything that's in this, I didn't pay anything for. I may add some Epsom salt later on, but as of now, I'm not gonna add anything else to this. I'm going to plant bush beans in here for, for now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here later on in the summer, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna use for, um, for this current planting. Okay, so tip number three is going to be this um, soaker hose. Uh, basically, I mean, I'm pretty sure, unless you're new to gardening, you've seen these around. This one here uh, basically says that you can save up to 70% of your water usage. So that's the reason why I'm using this. Now, I did notice that this is 50 feet. I don't need 50 feet in this small space. So what I may end up doing is using this over both sides rather than to just have uh, the rest of the water wasted since the object is to save water. So I'm gonna lay this out and then we're gonna move to tips number four and five. The hose is in. It was actually long enough for both sides. When I purchased this hose, as I said, I started buying this stuff back in January. I wasn't exactly sure where each piece was going to go, meaning I wasn't sure if I was going to use that in this at the time. It actually worked out. Um, there's a little bit hanging over on the end. It's not going to go to waste. None of this water is going to go to waste. I'm going to put a large window box next to this to um, to water that plant also so you know <laughs> guess you can't help but notice but that I have a couple of uh, bricks I have some uh, basically um, heavy items to train the hose to make it stationary this hose has been wound up put in a package and who knows how long it's been sitting I don't know maybe a year maybe longer so it's going to take a little time for this hose to form in the shape that I want it to be. That's the reason why you see uh, the bricks holding it down. The other thing is, you might think that this is redundant. Like, why am I using this Oya and then I'm using uh, the hose also? Well, number one, this wasn't the original plan, so I'm not going to try and, you know, play it off. Um, but. I am going to be growing uh, squash, summer squash in here. And they are uh, rather large plants and they go down, ooh, 15, 18 inches, the roots. And my oil does not go down that far. So I um, am glad that I, was, that I actually had this extra hose to cover the entire area and that gives me double the amount of protection in the event that the oil doesn't reach far enough. So that's um, where we are now. Basically, I'm gonna turn my attention back over here so we can finish up. Basically at this point, we're getting down to the last two items and the last one is one that I'm very familiar with but number four is something that we did in the first installment, but I'm gonna use a different application this time. And that is, let me see if I can get this camera to cooperate. I showed you this the other day. This is um, the Burpee 
uh, God, Gordon, uh, Garden Core. It is uh, great when you're trying to save water. It holds up to 150% of its weight in water. This bag is, I don't know, maybe five pounds. So I'm going to sprinkle that. I need a little bit more on this side, which um, the other day, this is not what I used on the first video, but I'm going to do both sides. And of course, I'm going to plant my seeds first for my bush beans. Then I'll add this. And then basically it's just a question of giving you tip number five and we will be able to wrap this baby up. So the hose is connected. We're all set to go on this end. Now I need to add some water to my Oya. So here it is. Basically, we get the evening sun comes from this direction. So I really don't even have to cover the entire thing, but I have it, so why not use it? And um, you can see how this is gonna make a difference this year. At least I think it's gonna make a, a tremendous difference between what we have in the ground, what we have um, mixed in the soil, the vermiculite, um, what we have on top of the soil, the um, uh, coconut core, the um, drip irrigation, and now on top of that, we have the, um, the shade curtain. So those are your five tips for today. I don't think this is overkill, but if we have the kind of summer, kind of July and August we had last year, then I'm gonna be glad that we actually um, used all this. I say we meaning I. 90% <laughs> of this is just myself. I occasionally get help from the frugal daughter and the frugal nephew when, when they're available. But that's the reason why I started setting this stuff up early because it takes some, it takes a while if you're doing it by yourself. So if you uh, have any questions or comments, please post them below. And um, basically, um, as I said, this is installment number two. Installment three and four are coming up shortly. If you missed one, I am going to post a link to the first video and also to the intro if you want to watch that but this is the second the third's coming up and there's going to be at least a fourth because i still have quite a few tricks up my sleeve i still have um some items left in my um bin that's going to help make this summer a lot easier for myself and for those of you who decide that you want to use a few of these items. So that's it for me. I'm the Frugal Gardener. I really appreciate you taking time out to watch my series. And I hope that you have subscribed. If you didn't, please click the little button now at the bottom and do so. Again, thanks for stopping by. You have a great day and happy gardening.